Well, thank you so much. Uh, uh, before uh, I go into my greetings, I definitely want to uh, acknowledge that we are uh, we are standing on uh, on Treaty Six land, uh, land of our indigenous people who uh, who welcomed us uh, from all over the world to uh, to build a new life in this country, as well as uh, allow us to give back to uh, make Canada in a better place. I think we all need to uh, need to appreciate uh, and. Uh, and acknowledge that. So, Elder, thank you so much uh, for, for being here, and thank you so much for uh, for your prayers. Yeah, please, can we thank you for uh, your I, so far, have not missed a single Daughters' Day celebration from its inception. And uh, I had the chance to work with the um, uh, the people who came up with uh, this idea, Dr. Bhatia. I, I think I told you this before. Uh, one day, uh, I, when I was city councillor, he calls my uh, my office and says, no, Amarji, I'm going to take you out for dinner. I said, I knew what he was up to something. And, uh, and uh, he paid for the dinner, but I think uh, we end up working uh, very closely to, uh, to start uh, this uh, celebration here in Edmonton, one of his own and other cities are uh, uh, definitely following, uh, coming, uh, coming along with us to, uh, uh, to celebrate in their, in their own, own cities. Also, uh, I know our performers from uh, Asani in their, um, uh, in their uh, O Canada uh, uh, start of the celebration. Uh, you might have noticed that uh, they used the word instead of uh, in thy son's command, they, all, they used the word in all of us command, in all of us command. And that's the changes that we have made to, uh, to open up to, uh, to really acknowledge that, uh, that Canada is about equality, that Canada is about parity, that Canada is about celebrating of all of us. And there's no one else that needs to be congratulated than the people behind this celebration. From the day they started to today, they put hundreds and hundreds of hours of time, their own time, to organize this and select some of the wonderful, wonderful people from our community, of our daughters and girls to be celebrated. And we have a group uh, that, is, that is in front of uh, us today. So congratulations to, uh, to each and every one of you for uh, being elected uh, and selected to be, uh, to be celebrated. Uh, celebrated. I, I have a daughter, uh, uh, and she's 22, and I say this wherever I, I, I go, that, uh, that when you have very strong, dynamic women around you, and they challenge you on, on many aspects of your own perceptions, and, uh, and really help you become a better person. And I have really gained uh, by being surrounded by my wife, by my daughter and uh, and uh, and the way the perspective they they bring to uh, not only the work I do as a, as a member of parliament or the work I did as a as a city councillor before, but in daily lives the uh, the things we think about the things that as men uh, we take for granted uh, and that are challenges for uh, for uh, you know women and girls and uh, so I, I think that is really important for us to. Uh, just to acknowledge and that there are certain privileges that uh, uh, that male dominated society gives uh, uh, to men and we need to continue to challenge challenge those uh, uh, those perceptions. I'm so happy to be joined by by my commercial uh, uh, counterparts as well as a very good friend of mine with whom I worked at a city councilor, councilor S. Langer, who's uh, taking on uh, on the work uh, in the area of multiculturalism, in the area of uh, Area of equality and really promoting uh, uh, the uh, applying the, the gender gender lens to uh, the work that is being done at City Hall. And the same thing work is being done at a federal level. Uh, uh, I am so proud to tell you uh, that we have a policy in place that everything that we do, every policy that we pass, every infrastructure projects that we approved, or any other work that we do uh, as a federal government has to go through a gender lens analysis. And we do that as well as uh, the 
the premier, not least leadership, by having 50% uh, of uh, the cabinet to be uh, from uh, from women, and we uh, failed up on that. We were the first federal government to have uh, a parity in our cabinet by having 50% of the women. Very, very strong women, uh, and, and it would be uh, representing us uh, in a different, very different portfolio. So, you know, I can go on and on, but I think we are here to uh, celebrate. Uh, uh, but uh, finally, I do do want to congratulate uh, the organizers of uh, of this event. It's them that they started this uh, uh, this event. It's them that they put hours and hours of their time to make this a reality. Uh, and uh, Edmonton is known for its innovation. Edmonton is known for starting something new. And Dollar's Day was started right here. And wherever I go, I say that with pride that I'm from Edmonton, where we did many, many other things, along with starting Dollar's Day celebration. So thank you so much.